Welcome to another video in science. In this video, we're going to be discussing the human brain. This is a very much on the surface look of the brain. We're going to be highlighting uh, major landmarks, uh, features that the brain has. So I started off with the skull because uh, the skull, as you can see here, you notice that it's made out of different plates that have fused together. These plates, the names of these plates, coincide with that region of the brain. So for example, this part here, that's the temporal, the temporal plate, okay? And then as I work my way towards the back, towards the spine, okay, the posterior end of the head, posterior meaning the back, or also caudal, meaning towards the spine, this is the occipital part, the occipital plate. And as you can see, just superior to the occipital plate, I have two plates that are fused together right here, this is the right parietal and the left parietal. Now let me continue making my way around. And uh, you'll see the parietal plate, the right parietal again, and then the right, the right temporal. And then anterior, making my way towards the nose, anterior or also um, rostral, this is the frontal plate. And as I mentioned before, these coincide with parts of the brain. So let's take a look at that brain. And the brain, as you can see, I've, I've, um, <clears throat> I've kind of shaded out the, uh, the skull, and you can see the brain housed inside of there. Now, the brain can be broken up into three major parts, and you can see all three here. You can see the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the, the uh, brain stem there coming out uh, from the skull. So let's take a deeper look inside of that, shall we? So as I mentioned before, you have the cerebrum. This is the main part of the brain, the one that, uh, if I said, uh, think of the brain, this is the part that you would visualize. And then you have the cerebellum, which is right, just inferior, just below it. Okay. And then you have the brain stem. The brain stem is broken down into four parts here. Uh, the first part is the dyncephalon. Okay, as you can see, we have to get way inside of the head. And this is housed inside of the uh, cerebellum. And then you have the midbrain, which covers the dyncephalon. And just below the midbrain is the pons, right? Just below the, uh, just at the base of the brain, you have the pons. And then just inferior to the pons, you have the medulla oblongata. Okay, now the medulla oblongata, I actually want to go back to the skull real quick so I can show you something. Let's see here, so we're kind of getting a base view of the skull, turning my skull around so you can get a better view of what I want to, want to show you. So here's the medulla oblongata, let's zoom in a little bit on that. Let me move my image over. Okay, so this is, this is the medulla oblongata and it's coming off the base of the skull. And you'll notice that it's coming out what's called the foramen magnum. This is the largest canal in the human body. And as the medulla oblongata continues down, it actually, the central nervous system continues as the spinal cord, okay? Now the spinal cord will reserve for another video. Right now we just wanna highlight the brain. All right, so those were the three main parts. Again, the cerebrum, cerebrum, cerebellum, and then your uh, brain stem, which exits the skull and turns into the, uh, the spinal cord. So let's continue. Let's get a cross section. So when I say cross section, I'm saying that we are going to slice the brain in half, which we've just done here. And later on when we dissect the brain, we'll get to do that too. So let's take a look at the same features, but now cross sectioned. So here's the cerebrum again, the cerebellum, the dyncephalon, the midbrain, pons, and then my medulla oblongata. All right, so that's the cross section of the brain. Uh, this image real quick is a, an image of the drainage system of the brain. This is both how we get blood to the brain and how it drains out. This is the, the venous and the arterial system, which I will discuss in, uh, in other videos. Actually, let me go back to, here's a brainstem again. So there's my, this time I'm starting from the most inferior aspect of the brainstem. Okay, actually let me lower this so you can get a better view. So the medulla oblongata, 
the pons, and again the midbrain. That is my brain stem. And this is all housed inside of the, the skull, so it's protected. Now I want to just show you another thing here. So our medulla, our pons, and you'll notice that we have all these nerves that are coming out. These are our cranial nerves. These are the main nerves that, uh, that send and receive signals, signals uh, to our body from our digestive system to our vision, uh, our senses, you name it. So here it is again, so you can kind of see the midbrain. And you can see how important, you can see how important this part of the brain is, the brain stem, because this is kind of the conduit, this is the in-between from the brain to the rest of the body. All right, and I have a video that highlights every single one of these um, these uh, nerves, these cranial nerves. And here is the, the cerebellum. Okay, and we'll highlight that in a separate video also. So again, this is kind of getting repetitive, but uh, that's okay because I want to make sure that you you know and you get a really good visual of where all these things are located. So I can see here on the posterior side of the brain, the cerebrum. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, that was the cerebellum and my cerebrum housed inside the cranial, ca cranial cavity. So you can see it and how it references with the rest of the body, your neck and, and so on. And then you can see here on the back side, on the posterior side, you can see how my, my, uh, my pons, my medulla oblongata, just continues on as the spinal cord. In fact, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see that. All right, so uh, let's highlight some of the features in the brain now. So here we have here we have our cerebrum. And as you can see here, there's a huge fissure here. This is called my longitudinal fissure. That fissure is essentially a huge uh, cavern, if you will, that separates the brain from a left hemisphere and a right hemisphere. Now, if you take a real careful look, uh, yes, you have two sides of the brain, but they are both connected through nervous tissue called the corpus callosum. Let's see if we can get a, a base view of that. So we're kind of looking from down up, so you can see the corpus callosum right there. That connects the two sides of the brain. In fact, let me go ahead and hide one of these so you can get a, a better view. So here's a cross section of the brain and the corpus callosum. You know, they say that musicians... Uh, they have their corpus callosum is about 40% bigger than your average person. Um, go figure. So I guess there, I guess your right side of the brain is uh, has better abilities to communicate with the left side. Here's a frontal lobe that coincides with the frontal plate of the skull. If you recall from the beginning of the video, and then your parietal lobes, your temporal lobes. Here it is. And then finally, on the posterior end, I'm going to highlight the occipital lobes. Here's the right occipital, and here's the left occipital. So if it's the occipital, you know that's the posterior side of the head. Okay. Now, there are a few other uh, features that I want to highlight in the brain. This is called the precentral gyrus. Okay, and the gyrus are essentially thick folds. And as you can see, the brain has a lot of thick folds. So this is pre-central. Okay? So if this is the central part of the brain, this is pre-central. This is before it. If that's pre-central, that means that this is the frontal lobe. This is the anterior aspect of the brain. So pre-central. So take a guess at what this one is. If this is the central, this is my central sulcus. A sulcus is a shallow groove. If this is my central sulcus and this is the precentral, this must be the postcentral gyrus, the thick fold. Okay, and this is my central sulcus. Now, this is my parietal aspect of the brain, and this is my temporal. So this part from this part is broken up by this sulca. This is called the lateral sulcus. All right, this is the lateral sulcus. So again, this is on parietal, this is the border, the, the uh, lateral sulcus is the border from the parietal and the temporal. 
and then on the let's go to the back let's go to the posterior aspect so now I'm taking a better look at the occipital and there's my uh, longitudinal fissure so here's my occipital so the border between the occipital and the parietal we call this part is the parietal occipital sulcus which makes sense right okay let me highlight the other one on the other side so this is the parietal occipital sulcus which borders uh, borders my occipital and parietal okay you know I think that's it I think that's all I want to highlight in this video so we'll highlight uh, the functions like you know for example the occipital what uh, the occipital what exact what exact function does that have in the body or the temporal um, we'll highlight some more of these details in future videos so um, so for now uh, that'll do so good luck in your studying